Except from an imaginary winning roulette strategy, the existence of which is a whole different topic, taking advantage of a faulty, biased roulette wheel is the only legal and proven way to beat roulette. Joseph Jagger in 1873, later known as the man who broke the bank at Monte Carlo. Albert Hibbs and Roy Walford, students at the University of Chicago. Multimillionaire Richard Jarecki and the Spanish living legend Gonzalo Garcia Pelayo. All of them use the same main method to win big at the roulette tables. Professional roulette wheels, especially old ones, are not as perfect as they want you to believe. Minor construction defects, wear and tear, tilt, dirt, and other parameters can have an effect on their function. Then their results are not perfectly random as they should be. So what those legendary roulette winners did was this. They carefully observed roulette wheels for slight imperfections. Then they collected and analyzed thousands of spin results of each roulette wheel. The aim is to confirm the wheel bias and exploit it by betting the most often winning numbers or sections of the wheel. It is called clocking. This is the real deal on beating roulette. And it is well documented. It's neither fiction nor a rumor. It's not easy and it may not be for you. But none can dispute the efficacy of this method. It can be done, it has been done, and it will happen again. A warning. Do not trust the sellers, frauds, and online scams that will promise they will teach you or sell you the method. Don't part with your money. Don't let them fool you. And a word about roulette computers. They don't work. They are slow, ineffective, easily spotted by casino staff, and illegal. So don't waste your time and money on those. Here in this channel, with this and future videos, you'll learn everything you need to know to get started. Let's take a look at the roulette wheel. European roulette has 37 members and American has 38. Theoretically, in the long run, each number should hit once every 37 or 38 spins on average. But what if, due to some small wheel imperfections, some numbers came up more often than they should? If we identify these numbers and improve our predictions, we could produce nice profits because the payout for a straight up number bet is 35 to 1. Now this is the true story of Sam, an advantage player and wheel clocker. It is possible to make money by taking advantage of a biased roulette wheel. Though as always, when you gamble, you risk losing your money. So be very careful. Finding a biased roulette wheel. Sam and two friends came into the casino and worked in shifts to chart both of our wheels, meaning they wrote down every number that came up hour after hour, day after day. They did this while watching or playing, and after a couple of weeks, they had enough spins recorded to crunch the numbers. Most casinos allow this, since most gambling systems result in their users losing more money. We found three potential numbers, Sam told me, and both wheels were biased. A roulette wheel is biased when at least one number consistently comes up more often than it should. Each number should come up one in 38 spins, but some might come up more often, even over thousands of spins. The possible reasons for this bias are many. Imperfect manufacturing can cause some pockets to be bigger than others. A loose divider can absorb the force of the ball that hits it, causing it to sink into the pocket in front more often, instead of bouncing off the divider. Bad bearings can cause a bias towards a whole section of a wheel. Fortunately, it isn't necessary to know why a wheel is biased. The important thing is to be fairly sure that the bias is real. That's why you'll need to chart thousands of spins. This team had found a slight bias on one wheel and a big bias on the other. The bigger the bias, the more likely it's real, especially when you only record a few thousand spins. The number 27 was showing up 1 in 28 spins, and the bias was still there by the time Sam had 15,000 spins recorded in his notebook. Taking advantage of the biased wheel to make money. Sam's friends stopped coming after a while. My guess is that they didn't have the self-discipline to sit there for hours, betting one number, so they made too many other bets and lost money. But Sam was there most days, betting number 27 over and over. He made some other bets to avoid suspicion, and he slowly increased his standard bet to $10 over the weeks. Let's look at the math. If your number comes up every 28 spins on average, and you're betting $10 each spin, you'll lose 
$10 per 27 spins. For every time, you win $350 on that winning 28th spin because you're paid 35 to 1. That's a net profit of $80 for each 28 spins of the wheel. Based on my own dealing speed, this strategy made Sam about $100 per hour minus the money lost on the small bets he made to hide what he was doing. By the way, the idea has been around for a while. In 1873, Joseph Jagger's biased wheel attack at the Beau Arts Casino in Monte Carlo netted him the modern day equivalent of $3 million, adjusted for inflation. But before you run off and try this strategy, let me share a few warnings and some advice. Number one, this is real work. Most wheels are not biased significantly. That means you could sit there for two weeks losing money and or wasting time. In fact, it might turn out that the first four wheels you check have no bias. And you might not want to travel far to repeat your failures at other casinos. So don't plan on this as a sure thing. It isn't. And a bias can be fixed the day after you discover it. More on that in a moment. If you don't have the time for charting 5,000 spins, you could look for sector bias, which doesn't require as many spins to verify. This means that the ball is falling more often than it should in a certain section of the wheel. You bet the numbers in that section to exploit such a bias. Number two, you need a big bias. Even if you find a wheel that is biased, it may not be enough of a bias to profitably exploit if you want to make more than minimum wage. If a busy dealer does only 20 spins per hour and you have a number coming in 1 in 34 spins, with a $10 bet each time, you'll make about $11.76 per hour while at the table, or less than minimum wage considering the time you invest charting the wheel and waiting for a seat to open up. Sam would only bet a number if it came in more often than 1 in 33 spins after a few thousand trials. Number 3. It's a roller coaster ride. Even with a true bias, a favored number might not show up for 100 spins at some point. If that happens, and you're betting $10 each time, you'll have lost $1,000 between wins. Do you have the stomach for that? Sam told me he lost as much as $750 in a day, although he stuck it out and never had a losing week. Until the end. You see, another reason you might have a losing streak is that the casino can fix or replace the wheel. Number 4. All good things must end. The industry knows about biased wheels. They're sometimes slow to respond because it takes time to discover a bias and roulette wheels are too expensive to replace often. I learned that casino management where I worked knew about the biased wheel, but waited to replace it because losses from other players kept the table profitable. They eventually switched the locations of the two wheels, but Sam had memorized the wood grain pattern and quickly found his lucky roulette wheel at the new table. Finally, right after I quit and was therefore allowed to gamble in the casino, management bought a new wheel and the game was up. You see, you could do all that work charting a wheel and then a bearing repair or good cleaning might take away the bias the next day. So get to work quickly if you find this opportunity. If this was useful to you, please don't forget to subscribe, share and like our video. Now, maybe it's time to get your play to the next level with the great strategies you will find in our site or watch another one of our videos.